of the beat. Hi everyone, this is Zaza. I'm Fix. Welcome to The Wall. Sacrifice the walk of sacrifice. Walk of you know when I when I just say that, you know that my spirit it moves. Mm. The walk of sacrifice. The walk of sacrifice. Yo, 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 yo. I think we're gonna need tissues <laughs> for this one. Just no, 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 no. guys. Uh, uh, we're gonna need we're gonna need tissues. For this one. It's fine. We'll use these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. The yeah, power we'll be of holding that, tightly to the that. The power of sacrifice. Yeah. Sacrificing. Mm. Huh? Mm. What is it, Mr. Fixer? What is sacrifice? What is sacrifice? What is yeah. sacrifice? Hey. You know, um, when I think of sacrifice, I just like to look at two uh, biblical uh, stories. Uh, first from uh, Abraham and then um, Jesus' story. People like to link those two, uh, but I, I, I always look at them uh, differently. Mm. Where uh, Abraham, in Hebrew called Avraham, Av is father. Mm. And then So it's like uh, the name means, you know, important father, important father. Wow. And a- Abraham got a promise from God that, you know, he will be with child. And at that time, they were very old, and the child hadn't been, uh, you know, hadn't been there. The reason yeah. Isaac is is is, is, is um, it means laughing. You know? yeah. So because you know uh, Sarah laughed at the idea that you yeah know, she was going to be pregnant, she was going to be yeah. you know like pregnant with a child, like yeah. you know she's past a child, you know yeah. a, a child bearing age, and so. Uh, God then makes the promise, you know, in a year's time, you know, you'll be with child. And he was with child. And so uh, now he's been waiting for this child for a very, very long time. He finally has the child in whom God promised. Mm. And then God says, sacrifice Mm. the child. Mm, 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 mm. And here's the interesting thing for me. And I think this is where you know, faith plays key. Honestly. You know, this is where faith plays key because the interesting part is that um, God says, sacrifice your son. In Hebrew, that's bane. Mm. Sacrifice your bane. Mm. And um, uh, all the time, Abraham would refer to Isaac as bane. Mm. But when he told one of his servants that uh, you stay here with the donkey, yeah, I'll, I'll, go go, with the boy. I'll go with the the, the no, he said, I'll go with, with the, the child. Oh, with the child. So yes. he used the word yell it. Uh huh. Okay. So in Hebrew, it's yell it. Okay. So for me, it was interesting because he calls his son Bane, son, mm. you know, but now he's calling him child, mm. yell it. Mm. So m- it was sort of like he has committed himself that he's distanced himself from the child because he's willing to follow the command of God. No! Oh! That it's it it's it it's, it's such a powerful story because you know, actually you know sometimes we read uh, biblical stories as stories rather than no this is actually he's taking his his son to sacrifice him, and this is the son he's been wanting, yes. and I think for me that represents true sacrifice, mm-hmm. where you are willing to. Disobey everything in you and be obedient to, to God. be obedient to God. Hey. Oh. And so that is for me true definition of what it is to sacrifice. Because and as long as you're comfortable with whatever it is, the commitment, whatever you want to do, as long as you're comfortable with it, it hasn't reached sacrifice level. Yeah. And that when you do that, when you're willing to go through pain, the difficulty, loneliness or whatever, and make a sacrificial decision, Mm. you 
us you it's sort of like making making a statement of what matters to you what mm. is important mm. and that's why god wants us to sacrifice because you know it, it, it it's for us to 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 say this is what's important yeah. this is what matters that's why you know tithing giving yeah you know uh giving is not you know for us to give god god has all the resources mm. but tithing is to say this is what I'm putting first. I'm putting yeah. God first. first. Yeah. You know, I'm putting God first in everything. Mm. You know, and so that's what sacrifice is. Yeah. It's painful. It's hard. It's yeah. difficult. Mm. And if you look at Jesus, you know, he made a sacrifice. Jesus, you know, now we, we're gonna we're gonna I'm I'm gonna look at it in two different terms, Jesus and then Christ. Mm. That's one, one, mm. one. That that's one person, but I'm just di- differentiating them because where I believe, when Jesus says, "My God, My God, why have you forsaken, forsaken me?" me. Mm. I believe Christ Christ was part of the separation from the body, oh, Jesus. Hey. And I don't think the pain for Jesus was going through the difficulty of. Being, uh, you know, going through the cross. I think it was the separation. Ish. Because he could feel the separation. So that we mm. can experience the mm. freedom. Mm. 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 The separation so that we can experience the freedom. Yeah. That is free for all, for all of, us of us to receive. All of us. So when really for me, we're talking about sacrifice. Mm. Those, those are my two goals. Yeah. It's the ability and the willingness to let go of everything. Of everything. 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 And then concentrate on God. Mm. Put God first. Put God first. For once. Put we are God so busy. First. We are so busy in this world. Oh my gosh, work this, that, this, this. Mm. But we forget that mm. there's a God. Yes. And doing that sacrifice, having that, putting, sacrificing. Mm. Shutting everything around mm. you. Mm. It's like putting God first. Mm. And that is very, very Devoting powerful. yourself to God. I remember there's a time when you were telling me... Oh, I remember there's a time when you were telling me about... Um, what was it again? Uh, what is it? Oh, yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Two weeks so off. At what the t- happened at, again? At the time was, I no, no, I was working at the time. Yeah. Yes, I was. But I was, you were just starting. I was working you at the, no, no, no. I was working at the time. Yeah. And then I was about to start my business. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I was working at the time. I was about to start my business. Mm. And so, um, well, what, what happened is I was, I, I, I was at work. So I'm driving out. And the, the the business has been something that had been going yeah. for, for a while, for yeah, a while. Yeah. I think probably even a year back, you know, yeah. just trying to, you know, think about it. And I even went, I've even tested. I was like, oh, before I invest, let me just try a company try and it. see, yeah. you know, if, if I would get the contract and all of that. Mm. And so, and then if that didn't work out. So I was like, oh, I would stop. Mm. So I'm driving off work and I hear God says, it's time to leave your job and start the business. And I'm like, oh, you know, so, um, so at the time, so what you are talking about now, I've made the decision that I'm starting the business mm-hmm. and I've made the investment because I've so bought, no I've bought coming. the, I've yeah. bought the van, yeah. you know, um, to start the business. Um, and, um, I am now in communication with the job that I need to stop. And they, they saying, oh, because I took a holiday. I mm. took a holiday and after that holiday, I'm calling them to say that stop and they go, no, 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 need to work and, and all of that. And, and at the same time, the church calls me mm. and says, uh, would you, could you work for us, mm. you know, part time? So I'm trying to deal with the business, the business here, the church on the other tr- side, starting it, and I've already got the contract. Yeah, I got the contract, the, like the first contract. So I got the first contract. Mm-hmm. The church says that um, you need to start. Can you work for us part time? And I and and I accepted that. And then I'm still with the business with with my job, trying to you know sort of come out of that. Mm. And so 
I I do I do my first delivery. Week. Yeah, I think it is. No, no, not week, week. one day. Oh, it was one, one day. day. Oh, yeah. I do the first delivery. I had the most painful stomach. Mm. I could not. And so I I I I I I I I did I did the delivery and then I go back uh, home and I, I and the, my mom was there and I'm hurting and mom says oh let's go to the emergency and I'm like no so I I, I I'm like trying to wait down mom gets gets things at um uh, at Tesco's and then brings them and then yeah. we sort of try and sit down and so I'm sleeping in my bed and God says I'm sitting you down for two weeks no. That's not happening. <laughs> that is not happening. That is not happening. <laughs> no I had income. just got, yes. I had no, no income. Nothing coming in. I had just got this yeah. contract. So what do I say to, to these those people? people. You are, Can I have a holiday? Can I have a <laughs> I just started. But you know No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I did not buy I didn't even buy a van at that time. I hired one. Oh, yeah, I hired guy, one. Yeah. yeah. I, no, from I hired them. a van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From mm, Amazon. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hired yeah, yeah, I hired yeah, 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 Landoka. Yeah. And you van. had to pay so, two hundreds. Yes, 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 yes. So um I hi I hired I had I had the van. And so what what happened is I now have to get two, um, God's saying, two weeks off. I was like, ah, no, 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 no. And I'm thinking, I'm going to lose this contract. I've, I've just started and I'm already telling them about two weeks off. And the first thing is, I made the first call I made to the church because this was an easy one. Mm. Church, God says, I need two weeks off. And Our the church, church and the church was like, ah, don't worry. <laughs> So then when I even told her, I was like, ah, that's yeah. an easy one. So I called the church. I was like, church, uh, two God says off. two weeks off. And uh. the church was like, good. Yeah. Um, uh, take, the, take, take the two weeks off. Yeah. And then I call um, uh, one of the guys uh, there um, at the company. And the guy says, what? And I'm like, um, I'm I'm just taking two weeks off. I think I do need the rest of uh, this two weeks. I think it's important for me to take the two weeks off. And he's like, okay, yeah, 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 that's 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 fine. And I was like, okay, that's done. That's done. Mm. But we still have this. <laughs> no mula. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. I'm taking. The, but you know, the two for, weeks for, off for, and for me. As much as I don't know what was going on in your head right th at that moment, but mm. for me, what really um, touched me with that whole thing was the fact that you were being obedient. Mm. 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 You listened mm. to God. God said, do, and you did. Mm. And uh, as much as you were calling me thinking, Za, what, this is what is happening right now. I couldn't even believe it myself. Mm. Mm. But it's like you are not questioning it. Mm. That just touched me in a way. Like, you are not questioning anything. You were like, you know what? If God says, I do. And those were the best two weeks. Yeah. Those were the best two wow. weeks. God was able to say specific things. I was clear about a lot of things. Yeah. And I got myself a good break. Yeah. You know, before I start off into this new venture. So that was that was very good. But the decision... But it was something that you that, needed. That, yeah, that was yeah. something that I needed. Yeah. But the decision to... Say yes to that was very difficult. Yeah. It was very, yeah. very difficult. Because you, yeah. you're saying yes to losing a lot around you. Mm. Mm. Especially income. Yeah. And then... Mm. Yeah, that, that, that was powerful. Because, mm. yeah, I, I, I felt like I got a lot from that. You know, yeah. even mm. myself. Mm. I got a lot mm. from it. And I, I was yeah. thinking, wow. You know, I, and funny enough... I questioned I myself. Because I was thinking... financially as well. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I was... Mm. I, I, I mean, I was like, oh my gosh, what if God would even say to me to stop? <laughs> <laughs> I remember thinking this. And, and the question was, would I? Would you? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I asked mm. myself that. I was yeah. like, would mm. I? Would I really yeah. stop? Mm. With all of these things that I'm facing, yeah. would I really stop? Mm. You know, mm. but obedient. Yeah. And I think obedience Plays is very important. Role. Obedience is very important. Yeah. Obedience is very because very the person important. that's saying to you and I think to stop scriptures even says obedience is better than worship, oh. or is more important than worship, okay. something like that. 
yeah, I can be corrected in my biblical. Because, <laughs> 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 you, you know, you, you read you so read much lot, in scripture. Oh, you, gosh, you, do. That, uh, you don't sometimes even, yeah, you, you And them. also the interpretation as well in, yeah. in scripture. You can misinterpret things because of, you know, uh, you, you, they say this as, as researchers, you know, when you read someone's research, also study the research as well because they might be bringing their culture involved, either mm. they are biased and mm. all of that. So it might not bring it through a, a true accuracy of the research, mm. you know. Yeah. Mm. So I think even biblical scriptures, we do sometimes misinterpret them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So it was more about you obeying your father. Mm. 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 Obeying yeah. your father, mm. what mm. your father mm. has said for you yeah. to do, mm. you do it. Mm. But mm. it's difficult. It's very difficult. It's difficult because you look at your situation, mm. but forgetting that the person that's saying you should stop is the creator of himself. The, yeah, the mm. creator mm. of everything. Yeah, he's mm. your creator. Yeah. Mm. So when you say stop, stop, why can't you stop? Yeah. Wow, it's really. Uh, mm. It always gets me a bit, you know, sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. The benefits of sacrifice. The benefits of sacrifice. I mean, the one thing you get through sacrifice is you, you, you're drawing the attention of God. Yeah. So God now has your attention. God is focusing on you. Yeah. So in terms of your needs and what, you know, is beneficial for you, mm. God is, is, put, is putting you first yeah. in that. Yeah. So he's making sure that you're good. He's protecting you. He's guiding you. Mm. You know, you, you 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 know you you are at his foresight. Yeah. You know, there's there's a scripture that says, um, "Make your body a living sacrifice." Mm. You know, mm. and it, it, it's sort of pleasing and acceptable to God. Mm. You know, and 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 it's a thing of as you as as you sacrifice. You know, you drawing God's attention to of you. Of course, of course. And so, with the thing of there's nothing to fear, there's mm. nothing to worry mm. about. Mm. You know, and now I'm not talking about because there was another debate of you know some people feeling guilty when they have the the feeling or the emotion of fear. Everybody goes through the emotion of fear. Yeah. And I don't. The Bible's not saying don't go through the emotion of fear. Yeah. It means that don't. Allow that fear to, to define you yeah. and control you, yeah. and, and 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 you nurturing the fear. Yeah, it's it's normal to feel fear. Yeah. You know, sometimes fear is just to alert you about certain things and all of that. So it's part of the you know the 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 the, the nature to to feel fear. So the Bible's not saying that. So it's, don't be afraid. You know, mm -hmm. is 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 more of you not nurturing and 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 sort of like you know sitting sitting on that fear and allowing that fear to control you, mm -hmm. so that every decision you make, you're making it out of fear. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible is addressing on that. So, mm -hmm. so the the the, 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 the thing of you, you rest, you yeah. at peace mm -hmm. because. You know, God is 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 with you. He he he's putting his attention on you, mm. and you know, God. You get to hear from God. Mm. You get to grow, and God is able to mold you yes. because God's got your attention. Mm. Mm. You know, and you so put something aside. Yeah, yeah. You put something aside, mm. and you mm. you're saying, "Here I am, Father." Mm. You surrender it all. Mm. And you just go on your knees and you say, here I am. I am here, Daddy. Mm. You called me. Mm. I'm here. Yeah. And there's, there's, there's a scripture that we, not, 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 not a scripture. There's a saying we always, always say, you know. But it, it's, it's, it's scripturally based, um, you know, uh, whatever you ask, ask in Jesus' name. Mm. So w w every time we pray, we say in Jesus' name. Yeah. In Jesus' name. And... I had sort of like a revelation that really what the scripture says, whatever you ask, ask, ask in, in Jesus' Jesus name, name. Yeah. it means ask in the way, in the culture of Jesus, yeah. in the mannerism Manner. of yeah. Jesus. Yes. So it, it's like, it's sort of like asking yourself, would Jesus ask for this? Mm. You know, mm. it, 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 is this of importance? And uh, and it's it, it's that thing of us knowing be more like Jesus. What would Jesus do? Yeah. 
you know, because we have to imitate Jesus. Mm. Mm. We have to live in the manner in which Jesus lived. Mm. And part of sacrifice yeah. is that. So that's the question. Is what you're asking going to benefit anybody else or yourself? Exactly. Because mm. Jesus, whatever he asks, is benefiting people. Mm. It's, it's benefiting for others. the people. It's for yeah. the purpose in which so he is what, called. Uh, what we're asking, is it mm. something of just Zaza mm. having a, a whatever life? I just needed an and and saying, all that. No. Mm. What is what is Zaza asking? Is what Zaza is asking? Is it going to benefit? Is it going to change the world? Is it going to is it going to come, move? Is it going to mm, transform mm, mm, other people's lives? Mm, that's the thing. Mm, you know? mm. So that's a very very good point. That what we ask, we don't just say in Jesus' name. No no no. no. Plain simple. We're saying I'm Would saying Jesus this. Would Jesus be asking? Yeah. This, mm, you know. Mm, you know. Mm. Asking, going down and and praying, asking God for mm. somebody else to go and and and, and eat. It's making even the sacrifice, taking mm. a seven days fasting, whatever, mm. fasting, yeah. three days, mm. whatever, mm. for something yeah. like that. That mm. is very powerful. It's like drawing yourself. It's drawing yourself. Mm. And the more you the more you sacrifice, the more you grow spiritually. Yeah. Oh my god. And yes. what we need to know, we are spirit. Yeah. You know, we are spirit. Mm. We we're not the body. You know, we are inside a yeah. body, but who we are is spirit. Yeah. You know, and, we need to and so we need to feed who yeah, we are. Yeah, we need yeah. to grow who we yeah. are. And that's how we grow. Yeah. That's how we are built in yeah. terms of, you know, it's important to take care of the temple, the body which we are in. But it's very much so to take care of, you know, the spirit. Yeah. You know, and I think a lot of people focus too much on the fleshly manners because, you know, we see things physically mm. so everything is focusing on the body and we define ourselves as this is the body and all of that and uh, neglect who we are which is the spirit mm. and so a lot of the problems we're facing is because the spirit mm. in a, us you know is asleep or is you know it, it, it's not operating we're not you know active yeah and so we wonder why then we go through stress, we're miserable, we all that, because you're not active, you know, yeah. you're not living in the manner in which you were created to be, your spirit is not active, Yeah. you know, and I think the more we focus on us, the spirit, mm. the more we grow ourselves, even our body tends to follow. Yeah. Mm. You know, and so we are leading the body rather than the body leading, body leading us. us. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's all for today. Yes. We had a great time this evening. Yes, we did. So please don't subscribe. forget to subscribe. Leave us your thumbs up, up and comment. We would really love to hear what you guys think about our topics, the episode, and if there's anything that you'd like us to add. Yes. Oh yeah!